Cheers, guys! English Rabisco here! I know I'm a little bit late to this, but recently Discord has changed their logo and, well, I guess people just don't know what to think of it. Me neither, honestly. <laughs> but nevertheless, I've seen way worse logo changes. I know, logos are a weird thing to be interested in and stuff and talk about, I guess, but they're more important than you might think. For some, it's the first thing that comes to mind for a company and we see them every day. Looking at all the restaurants and stores or simply just staying home and using our phones and computers. They're everywhere! Let me tell you, a lot of the changes that have been made to these logos are just terrible. Almost nothing short of tragic. And yes, I did all the weird and nerdy research so you don't have to. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with what I consider to be some of the more, I don't know what to say, questionable ones. And remember, this is just my opinion, so I'm probably just totally wrong or something. A long time ago in 2015, Google changed their logo. They removed the iconic font that was used since 1999 called Catmull BQ. And well, the new one that's been used ever since, it looks quite, comp it's just quite generic. Like, it really has very little, I don't know, character to it compared to the old one. The old one was just so iconic and so recognizable, but this one, well, okay, I guess it's sort of developed an identity of its own since it's been used for several years at this point, but whatever, I guess, at least the colors are still the same. And yes, Microsoft changed the logo in 2012. It was a complete overhaul, and it looked completely different. As you can tell, the font is completely just different. It's not, it look, doesn't even look like the old one in any way. And yet, the slash and the O, which was pretty much the trademark in the logo, is no more. And what appears to be a former Windows logo was added, which is kind of confusing, especially because it's applied to the whole company, and it's supposed to, like, represent the different products despite the fact these colors and logo in general originated with windows yeah i just don't get it now i'm not saying the logo is terrible it's just weird i don't even know what to say about this honestly speaking of which yeah windows let's talk about that for various changes in the windows logo so Okay, you see, I did all this research, so put it easily. In a nutshell, Windows had its first, like, I don't know, standardized logo that you would see everywhere, starting in 1992, and I believe that was used all the way until 2001. It held all those famous colors, and especially that trail behind it. Now, that's very nice. I admit, I wasn't alive when that logo was used, but technically I was. It's complicated, okay? <laughs> but yeah, that was a very iconic one and I'm sure it will be remembered fondly. In 2001, probably to reflect the new system user interface for Windows XP, it was changed. They got rid of the tail and stuff, and the window panes are now separate from each other. I mean, yes, you, you can still tell what it is, obviously, and it still looks pretty nice. And yes, a lot of people, including myself, have grown up with this one and are very familiar with it. Again, reflecting the new user interfaces, Windows Vista N7 just update the logo. It looks pretty much the same other than like a gradient. So yeah. And it also looks like glass too. It's still pretty nice, of course. Yep, those times are just the greatest when it came to this. And then in 2012, Windows 8 came out and it's just completely blue. And pretty much... Windows 8.1 and 10 uses a pretty similar version of this logo, and, well, it does look like the 1985 one, yes, but, well, <laughs> I don't even know. A lot has been removed. I guess you can still tell that it's Windows, but, yep, I don't even know what to say here. As I was talking about Discord, the new font is just so lame and generic compared to the old one. And yes, Clyde the mascot got changed to look like a game controller, which is kind of weird, considering that Discord is trying to focus on stuff other than gaming. They're, they're trying to diversify, and they end up making it look more like a games controller. Like what? For former Kraft Foods Inc., the corporation, I believe, not for brand, completely changed the logo in 2009. So yes, this was a long time ago before the whole oversimplifying stuff. But yep. 
it was very bad. People really hated it, I'm sure. And they changed it again that year, but well, it's not better. And of course, this wasn't really used for that long because Kraft Foods Inc. seemed to have ceased to exist. As for Gap, in 2010, they completely changed their logo and completely screwed it up. Luckily, they responded to the outcry and changed it back to the old one later, so yeah. And of course, they use a different logo. I'm not gonna comment on it, at least they kept the font, I guess, so there you go. And Arby's. They changed their 1975 logo to a new one in 2012. Yeah, that one that you can still see in store sometimes, and I'm sure that a lot of us are familiar with. Anyway, yeah, it wasn't really good. The font was just not Arby's. It really didn't give off that feeling, and, well, not too long after, they changed it to make it look more like the classic font from the old one. So yeah, there's another story of a company changing the logo after they messed it up. As for Warner Bros, they had changed, I believe, the corporate logo in 2019, apparently they did, but, well, it only appeared in movies this year, 2021. I mean, you can still tell what it is, but I think they got rid of way too much, and it's just too oversimplified, which is unfortunately a trend we'll see a lot. Firefox for browser, yeah, a lot of changes have been made over the years and it's gradually gotten simpler and simpler over time, but maybe they took it a little too far in 2019, I mean, you can't really tell that's supposed to be the globe, right? That's supposed to be the earth as, like, the symbol of the internet? And as for the corporate logo, um, uh, I guess I understand it, but it's not very good in my opinion. I mean, you can't even tell that it's supposed to be a fox. Or fire, honestly. The new Pringles logo? Yeah, this sure didn't make 2020 any better now. Like, what is this? I, I, I can't with this one. This sucks. Like, what is this? Especially, yes, if you put it on a white background, you can only see a floating face. I mean, there's just so many things wrong with this thing. Why? Why did they do this? As for not bad ones, well, okay, this is not a logo. Why, sh why am I even talking about this? But I thought this was a kind of a good example of just generally how things should be. <laughs> you see, in 1999, Japan changed their flag. See, for difference... Yep, it's pretty much the same, except like they changed the proportions a little, but still, like, it's pretty much the same flag. Anyway, if we're talking about logos, Coca-Cola, it's been thrown around a lot on like, I don't know, other stuff, but it's, but the specific script has been the same since 1941. That was during the Franklin Roosevelt administration, <laughs> and yes, which is in turn similar to the one used since the 1880s or the 1890s. T for Target? It's also been thrown around a lot, but has pretty much the same logo since 1968. Also, there's this doppelganger from Australia, who also has used the same logo from the same time as well. Which is pretty weird, but still, it's iconic. You can tell where you are, you can tell everything about the logo. It's fine, it's fine, very nice. McDonald's? The Golden Arches have stayed the same since the 1960s pretty much, and it reached its present form in 2006, but the Golden M has always been recognizable. As for HP, their fundamental logo, like just the general design, even if it has changed over the years, has stayed the same for much of its existence. And when it was changed back in like 2008, all they did was pretty much just invent the colors and get rid of that rectangle around the circle. I mean, it's a little more drastic here compared to the other ones I just talked about, but it's pretty much the same and still has all the same characteristics as the all the old ones. As for Lego, it seems that the font has been there since the mid-1950s, but pretty much the current logo was introduced in 1972 and was changed just a little in 1998. And yeah, the difference is pretty hard to tell, so I think they did a good job here. As for Dell, the fundamental logo design with that slanted E was introduced in 1989 and was changed in 2016. It's thinner and a little more sleeker now if you will, but it's nearly the same. 
Personally, I like the old one better just because, well, that's just the one I grew up with. But the new one's still pretty good. And here's Nintendo. The font has stayed the same since 1975. In fact, racetrack around the logo was introduced in 1977. And as for the logo itself, it's pretty much stayed the same since 1983, just with different colors and stuff being introduced over the times. Apple's logo has pretty much stayed the same since 1977. And yes, the shape is exactly the same and in any color you've put it in, it's you, you can still tell what it is. So yeah, that's a very powerful and endearing logo for sure. And finally, Netflix. It was changed in 2014 from the one I believe they've used since 2001. But it uses a very similar font and yes, it's still iconic enough to pass, I think. So yeah, not bad! In short, a lot of logo designs have been absolutely horrid, but not all of them are. Well, bad, okay? But that doesn't really balance things out, though. I mean, especially because for almost like a company's window to the world. Anyways, I can't predict the future of logo redesigns and how things are gonna go in the future. I mean, look, we have all different opinions, and some of us might like the new logo redesigns that have been happening. So, well, who knows? Well, that's pretty much all I have to say. Be safe, take care, and bye!